Hi, this is Lisa Kelly from lisakellyonline.com and today I am talking to you about gluten-free diet ideas. So this is all from my latest blog post, uh, which is all breakthrough ideas that you can actually get your hands on. And, you know, what I found out was that, you know, I didn't even know really what gluten was. So gluten is a protein that is found in wheat, rye, barley, and you know, it just gives uh, the dough that elasticity. We do, yeah. There is actually other flours that we can use, like coconut flour and uh, like chestnut flour. So we, there are substitutes to just normal wheat flour that you can get your hands on if you are interested in baking and you love to use flour. So one of the biggest things for me was that, you know, I needed to stop having bread, which, you know, can be difficult and pasta is another one of my favorites. And, you know, our bodies actually do detox from these things. So make sure you are prepared if you decide to stop having gluten products as well. Uh, now, the reason I decided to stop having gluten is for when I started a clean eating boot camp. So, but then I found out that once I stopped, having these these this gluten my headaches actually went away and my whenever I had pasta and things like that I did get bloated and it had abdominal pains and things like that so those all those things have gone away so I am going to stop myself from having carbs in the future and gluten and what I have been doing is mostly just substituting things that I love to things that are similar. For example, I've just substituted pasta and things for brown rice and I've just realized that there is actually brown rice pasta as well. So there are things that we can do for to, so that we can um, have things that you know we used to love and just change it up a bit. Uh, also, I found out that you know gluten can also be affecting a lot of people out there so I wanted to get the word out because you might be sensitive to it as well and you might not even realize it can be it might not be headaches for you it could it could be joint pains or it could be you know early on site Alzheimer's or it, people have had who've got ADHD people have uh, taken those children off gluten have actually found a significant uh, improvement in their behavior so there are a lot of lots of things out there so make sure you go out there and actually have a good read of um, some books I recommend Grain Brain it was a fantastic book and I learned a lot about it and a lot of people have been helped from this book and um, you know stopping um, having grains uh, so make sure if you have been on my blog you'll see that I've got some great gluten free diet ideas uh, you can actually download this PDF and I've got two extra bonus ideas for you and you can print it off and you can um, have it on your fridge or something like that so that you can um, be you know, substituting your own meals to gluten free. Alright, I hope you found value. Um, make sure you head over to the blog at lisakellyonline.com and I'm going to see you guys next time. Bye.